Hello, hello, beautiful souls. It's Athena here, and I have been guided to come on and share some beautiful messages for the collective. So today is actually August 5th, and we have the Lion's Gate that is approaching on the 8th, which is on Sunday and just happens to also be a new moon. So I was guided to share some healing transmissions with all of you. So no matter when you're watching this, if you're in the Lionsgate portal or if you're watching this afterwards, the intentions here are that you will receive the healing and the information that's in the best and highest good for yourself and your higher self. So get comfy and let's go ahead and begin. So I really connected with um, Isis today and just kind of asked the Ascended Master Isis, I asked her what needed to be brought forward for the collective. And right away, three cards jumped out. And so the first card that came out is this proper burial for freedom. This is sacrifice to Osiris, the Lord of the dead. And what this represents for us as a collective, um, many of us, not, not everyone, but many of us, is it's time to let go. It is time to say goodbye to the old ways of being. And this includes our attachment to suffering. Humans often have that attachment and it's, it's now the time to let it go. So asking yourself today, what is still holding on? What am I still holding on to, right? What am I still holding on to that is no longer serving me? And this can be anything from a relationship. This could be a, a friendship. This could be aspects of your past, maybe past situations, or even like an argument or something that had occurred. This can be something on the mental, the physical, the spiritual, um, and even the emotional levels of our being. And so this card is coming up to let us know it's time. It's time to release it. And as we release this, we start to bring balance back to ourselves. As you can see, he is, he is in the moon and the sun area, right? He's in the darkness and the light. And he's bringing balance back to himself because he honors all sides of him, right? So we're being invited to honor all sides of ourselves. It's no longer a time to be suppressing our emotions. It is time to dig into the underworld, so to speak. It's time to dig into our darkness and, and see that it no longer needs to have hold on us. We have the opportunity here to really clear things out, okay? So that's the first card that we got. The second card that came is Divine Sisterhood. And I love this card. This is calling in your people. This is surrounding yourself with other beings who are ready to evolve so some call them the light workers or you know people who are ready for radical change this is finding your community and remember sometimes we have to let go of old um, communities or old people or relationships that are no longer of service to our highest and best good sometimes we can be on different tracks or different timelines than other people. Um, and it's okay that we are, are on different timelines and it's okay that we're on different tracks, um, but understanding and giving compassion to those people who, you know, may be on a different um, path than you, understanding that they have their own beautiful lessons to be learning, um, but finding your people, finding your sisterhood. And this says community of the spiritual sisters and brothers of the light. So it's time to really rally in with those who are ready for change, for those who are doing the spiritual work 
And, and really it's, it's not about codependency. It's about um, finding the strengths in one another, another and honoring um, our differences as well. So I just love that this came up. So today is a wonderful day to, to do that, to connect with um, your tribe, to reach out to people. And you may have been feeling lately too, that you, you have this need to do that. Maybe the last couple of weeks you felt uh, more kind of isolated or just kind of um, more withdrawn, maybe going through your stuff more internally. Um, this feels like it's time to reach out for that help. It's time to really start. Um, what I'm hearing is, is kind of manifesting or calling your your people to you. Okay. So maybe today set, lighting a candle and connecting with your source and just asking, you know, bring those who are for my growth and who are loving and well-intended into my life. And as you send that prayer out, it will be received. So throw the prayer into the wind and, and um, just see how that beautiful magnetism of that prayer, it starts to come back to you, okay? So that was Divine Sisterhood, beautiful card. The next one I pulled is Truths Revealed, okay? And so this kind of stems again with relationships. Um, this is really about seeing beyond the illusions. Okay, seeing beyond the illusion. So using our psychic sight to see beyond the veil, to see beyond the illusions that we've created for ourselves. Okay, so also taking responsibility for our life and our actions and, and how we've gotten to this point and understanding that we all can start to see more clearly now. They showed me in meditation this morning, almost like when something is false or maybe someone's like um, lying to you, or maybe it's just like little white lies or something, you're going to start to know that. Not only are you going to feel it, but you are going to start to almost see like a glimmer. Okay. That's what they were showing me today in meditation is this glimmer that you might see a, a twinkle in your eye or um you know, maybe even in, in your own meditations, you have to check in with your ego and make sure that what is being presented to you is not um, ego driven. So even in your meditations, making sure that you're double checking, is this my truth? Or is this the ego? Because our will, our ego can slip into our meditation states as well. And it's just there to protect us. Okay. So you're going to start to really know, see, feel maybe even hear when someone is not being a hundred percent truthful to you and this is something it doesn't necessarily always mean that you have to call them out it absolutely can mean that but this means that you know what your truth is and so understanding that some relationships may fall away because you no longer want to align with some of that energy that's being presented to you okay so i just think that that's a, such a beautiful and powerful card um, and I think as a collective, all of our gifts are starting to expand, especially with this lion's gate, our gifts are expanding like crazy. Um, if you have been, um, activated with the radical guide DNA activation method, you will also start to, uh, what you've already experienced is going to be heightened even more and it's going to stay right. Um, and with, if you're not activated through the DNA, you're going to feel these changes that are going to be popping up, especially on Sunday. Um, and over the period of the month, it'll kind of start to slow down. So um, don't be alarmed if you're new to this kind of energy, um, but know that you can practice it and you can start to cultivate the ability to sense the subtle energies that are around you. You can start to really tune in to the elements and, and they can help you su and support you in the process of understanding the energetic realms. We are all made of energy. 
And there's so much connection um, that we can share together, but there's also that part where you'll start to understand what your truth is and you can start to understand maybe the false truths that are no longer in alignment with yourself. So really be gentle on your on yourself um, as you're kind of moving through this. Okay. And then I did just pulled one more card for the collective. Just what else do we need to know during this period? And we got the past life present power. And this is the many spiritual faces of you. And I love this card so much because what this is reminding us of is connecting to our ancient ways. This is connecting to our soul in such a deep and powerful and beautiful way that we are able to start to pull those gifts from our past lives into this life. Yes, we can. We can really start to retrieve the information from our soul. Even within the collective consciousness, we can start to tap into memories. So maybe you've been having memories of Atlantis or Lemuria or the Grecian times or the Egyptian times. Maybe it's past lives that you're coming through in dreams or, or just little glimmers or um, kind of like downloads that you're getting and you're like, what is this? Our soul is so expansive and if we can open up our consciousness and our awareness to how expansive we truly are we have that ability to tap into our past lives and not only heal right not only heal the karmic wounds and the emotional wounds that we have brought into this life but we also have the power to bring those gifts so the magic, the deep connection to the earth, the communications with the elements and the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom, right? The connection to the stars and the planets. We can start to bring all of that information back into this life. And so this is something that's available to us all. It can take some work um, to get, you know, you want to be kind of getting into that meditative state, um, tuning in, but you can also just use your voice. You can use your voice and you can declare that all the blessings from your past be brought into this present moment in alignment with your higher self, okay, in alignment with divine love. And for the best and the highest regard for yourself, okay? So it is as simple as, as really using your voice. You can get into more of a meditative state and, and sometimes you can feel it more or you can um, start to see more of it if you'd like. Um, but really just using the voice is going to be very, very powerful. Okay, so that is the message that I had for today, which is August 5th. Um, if you guys like this content, make sure to subscribe. And um, if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you.